Good morning, I'm Kathleen Pate, and this is my Alabama farm life. I went ahead and let my chickens out early today, and as you can see, they are just full of themselves today. But I need to get in there and get their coop cleaned. Everything is sopping wet because of all the rain that we've had recently. The beds are wet, nesting areas are wet, everything's wet. So I'm gonna go, go ahead and get that done. And then I'm gonna come out here and I'm gonna work on my raised bed. I have some old logs and some scrap wood and I really need to get some plants in the ground. So I'm gonna start by building this raised bed, getting it filled up and getting some plants in the ground. This is the second egg that I found on the ground. So yeah, everything is sopping wet and now they're gonna come out into the coop and see what I have been up to. I'm gonna get started on my raised bed now. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go around with my weed eater, I'm gonna hit the high grass. But for the inside, I'm gonna go down as far as I can. Since I'm out of cardboard, I'm just gonna weed eat the grass down to the top of the roots and hopefully that will work. I went ahead and attached these boards to this side so I knew what I was doing. And now I'm gonna go to the other side. There is an ant bed here, and I have, over the last two days, really dug it up and tried to get them to vacate the area, but there's still a lot of ants here. So I'm just, I'm gonna be really careful while working over here and hope that I don't get bit. I have a lot of old wood, so I'm gonna use a couple of pieces for these end pieces. Actually, one of the ends is rotted, but I'm still gonna go ahead and use it. I have the timbers that you see there. Those are from trees that I cut down last year. And then this board edging. This is part of the frame from the old PVC greenhouse that my father-in-law started to put up years ago. It's still here, it looks pretty sturdy, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use it. I've actually learned the hard way to use a drill first to pre-drill the holes for my screws. I have cracked more boards screwing raw screws into them, so we're not gonna do that this time. I'm gonna pre-drill my holes. I'm also gonna go ahead and start my screws. I'm trying to be really careful over here because there is that pile of ants that are there. And although these are black ants and they don't hurt half as bad as the red fire ants from Florida, I still don't want to get bit. I'm trying to be as careful as possible. I don't want to get too close to the end of those boards because there's ants still crawling all over everything. This is not the raised bed that I imagined, but this is the bed that I have time for. I'm hoping that this fall, when everything is done, that I'm gonna be able to come out here and reimagine this bed. I have plenty of logs and 10 that I would like to use to make for a real raised bed. This board is rotted over here on this other end. So instead of trying to screw it in, I'm just going to let it rest on this log and that should keep it secure. I don't have any compost ready for this raised bed, but I do have a lot of leaves so I'm gonna go ahead and collect as many as possible and this is gonna be my first layer of my raised bed. 
If there's one thing that we have in abundance, it's leaves. There's oak trees all over the property and there are leaves everywhere. The next layer is going to be compost. I'm gonna use three bags of compost and I'm gonna go ahead and spread it around as evenly as possible. I should have used more compost, but I only bought five bags. Next time I'll know better and I'll buy more. I ended up using six bags of topsoil. I'm using Evergreen brand. I got it from Lowe's. It was the cheapest topsoil and compost that they were selling. And what I like best about it is the fact that it's from Muscle Shoals, Alabama. Nothing like buying local. I'm gonna spread out this topsoil as evenly as possible, but I, I can already tell that it's not gonna be enough, but I'm just gonna go ahead and finish up with what I have on hand. This means another trip to Lowe's, but that's okay. I think I've got their system down pat. I downloaded their app, I put in my order, I go to the store, they load up my vehicle for me, and I am done. I'm back this morning with five more bags of topsoil. I'm gonna go ahead and get that in there and get it spread out evenly. This is much better than what it was before. I could probably put a few more bags of topsoil in here but it's starting to get expensive and it's eating into my budget, especially after I bought some fencing and some new poles and it ended up not working out the way I had planned it to. And of course, there's nobody here to blame but myself. And this is what happens when you don't measure. I'm gonna to have to go get another roll and these posts are just shy of three foot and what I actually needed was the four foot posts so I'm gonna to have to go back and get those too. So I'll be back here tomorrow. Someone's already out this morning and in my raised bed. Not funny. Quit kicking up all my dirt. Get out of there. Go, on, get out of there. Go, go, go. Come on, bad chicken. Come on. I'm back out here this morning, and I've been thinking all night about what I should do. I started out this morning putting up some pieces of bamboo and this temporary green fencing. I don't have enough of it, so I was thinking about using some extra black fencing that I had, but that's not going to work either. So I think I know how I'm going to protect my vegetables once they get in, but you're going to have to watch the whole video to find out what I do. I've also been thinking all night as to what I'm going to plant in here, and I think I have it figured out. I have decided to do the three sisters method. My corn was getting tall, I had some peas, and I have a ton of cucumbers. So I'm going to set these all together and see how they grow. And I think I'm going to use my Premier One fencing to solve my chicken and deer issue. I'm going to go ahead and pull this extra length that I have and I'm going to put it around my garden and my greenhouse to keep everybody out. I've done as much as I'm going to do today in my raised garden and I'm pretty much done with this video I think. I've got tomatoes in. These are going to be my Siberian tomatoes. I'm going to see if I can save some seeds off of them and corn, peas, cucumbers and the blue lake beans i have those planted in here too so let's see how they do my fingers are crossed and i really hope they do well so that's going to be the end of this video today you guys have a great day